Hello, my Scorpio friends. I am getting ready to do your reading. I'm separating my cards out. I'm already putting them back. And this is for August for Scorpio. Hmm. I had the tower fall out upside down. Could be right side up with the page of coin and the knight of sword just now. So it could be a, um, a shake up, a shake down, but something's going to come in fast. Sometimes the tower doesn't have to be bad. It can just be kind of like fast moving energy. Something changes quickly. But with a page of coin there and then knight of swords, that to me felt good. A good message. Well, all right, Scorpio. What do we have in store for you this month of August? All right. Okay, I got the fool at the bottom. All right, let's see here. Emperor, hmm. the Knight of Wands, Strength. Hmm. Take back your power, Scorpio. Take back your power. Don't worry about being strong and taking action. What would make you happy? What would make you happy, Scorpio? You have some ideas. You have some ideas. You're not sure which one to, to you're not sure which one to um, start or begin with. Um, your advice is not to worry to take action with the Queen of Wands here. Get it together. Be strong. Figure out what would make you happy. Actually, actually, you have actually to me you have one, two, three, four cards of almost being strong, taking back your power, getting it together in different forms. Um, do work that shines or work together with other people. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to read these other ways because when a general reading, uh, I like to keep it open to different, different, a few different things, but. I like the seven and nine of cups here because sometimes the seven of cups is saying, you know, you have all these ideas, a lot of them aren't going to make you happy, um, choose wisely, you know, um, it also can be too much drinking or smoking, but I, and the nine of cups can also be too much drinking, but I don't get that with these two cards. I'm getting that this is, you got a lot of great ideas. You're trying to narrow it down to one is what I'm getting. Um, this could be, this can be work related and it can be, um, just in life related. It's almost, it's like you have ideas, like you're planning out your life. You're planning out new ideas. You're planning out your path, Scorpio. And you're not almost sure what action to take. Now the queen of wands, I feel right now is you. I feel this is you because the wands are action and you need to get, to um, kind of get it together is what I'm getting. Like you're being kind of like over here in like la la land. Like you, you're not quite sure making the decision, and you're not making a decision. And you're not taking action, but you need to. And you are. And your advice is to take action. See, the Queen of Wands to me, if it's it's your energy coming up, she's wands are action, doing things. He, to me, is a sign of strength, getting it together. Knight of Wands, getting it together, moving forward. You have the strength card. 
The three of coin is either doing work that you love or working together with someone. And so then two coin, you know, normally means balancing something, trying to decide between something. Um, and I, I feel like he's kind of like you're over here and then you're kind of narrowing it down to one. But let's pull some clarifying cards for you. I'm going to start with the nine of, of swords with the queen of wands and see what has you so worried. What is so worrisome? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm getting... Uh, I'm, I'm getting... Yeah, it's like if you stop worrying, if you take some action, if you move things forward in August here, you're going to have some good fortune. Things are going to start rolling. Um, King of Swords. Another card of, like, to me, focusing. Um, when I do personal readings, it kind of goes, like, in, in order of like angry men it's the king of swords and the emperor but i feel like this is more like you getting getting like focused okay strength card and three of coin please queen of coin yeah so i i feel like scorpios for you guys this is kind of a, a work money life reading of getting together getting it together working it out uh, making a decision moving forward making a new start whoops i'm sorry i just dropped a majority of my whole deck here while i'm talking that was good king of cups but i was too many things coming out right now what is the two of coin ace of wands please a new start, a new beginning. You've been through the battle. You've already learned the lessons. You're ready for a new start. It's a nice card. And what is the... Okay, Magician. So it almost feels like you're over here sitting. It's time to take action. It's time to take action. Get rolling. It's time to get focused and moving because you got some good things coming in, Scorpio. Um... And you need to, you know, you've been through the lessons and, and what you need to learn. And now it's time for that new start. So decide what you want. You have a lot of people on this spread, though, too, though, if you notice. Um, you have two queens, a king, a knight, and the emperor. Not to mention all the other cards with people on them, but just I feel like there's people around you that are will be will be helpful. I feel like there's a mentor around you, someone that um, would be very beneficial to you, Scorpio. I feel for some of you, there is an air sign, male, in your um, that will help or will listen. We'll give you some guidance um, and I don't normally point out specific signs but um, Aquarius Libra or Gemini so maybe you may have someone you may need to ask someone some questions or get some advice from someone and I feel like he will have a good idea some good ideas yeah you've been but through a lot, Scorpio, with this reading. You've been through a lot, and it's time for you to move forward and shine. Whether you've been in a bad relationship, a bad marriage, you have just not had good luck, or not that all Scorpios are having bad problems, or, you know, you may have just, things just aren't catching, aren't sparking, aren't, aren't, if this is your time, I feel like, it's, it's like it's, this is your time to be happy. This is you know what you want, and it's time to move forward and be happy. Um, it's time to do maybe something new and step out of your comfort zone with strength and shine. Do something that you've always really wanted to do and love to do, and it's time to earn some money from it. Um, I feel again that that's you, Scorpio, the Queen of Coin. N not necessarily could be someone you're working with or a boss, but. I just feel like if you're looking for money, there's definitely options around you right now. Could also be some of you are trying to move forward. You're trying to get out of an old situation with someone who 
is very um, dominant and very um, controlling and that may be at the center of your attention and and that's what you're worrying about but I don't feel you need to with these cards the Queen of Wands can be someone also around you willing to help Aries Leo Sagittarius someone who may not be those signs but is very like she moves she does things she takes action she's um, she talks a lot she's very forward but she's kind she's very helpful could also be someone around you like that willing to help if you need some help if not I just feel like this is you um, juggling ideas making decisions moving forward in August um, doing what you love my only advice for you Scorpios is just to take action to focus on what it is you want to like harness that energy that power bring it in bring it together if you need to get a lawyer or anything along that line this would be a good month to do that to consult with someone um, with money or taxes this would also be a good time to do that and, and put any worries to rest if you need to file bankruptcy or if you need to open some type of savings accounts or something along that line uh, this would be a good month to take care of that kind of business get your ducks in order get things um, get things where they need to be use structure order logic start moving forward with your plans if you're going back to school go back to school great great energy for going back to college um, or if you're first year going into college great energy to start a new project uh, this is really good energy of this reading you guys I, I feel like there may be one hiccup with somebody around you who's who's calling um, you need to call their bluff that's what I heard because they're not as strong and powerful as they they act or they seem to be thinking um, but for the rest of you or all of you this is a good month this is a good month to harness your energy put it into action and to go forward with any projects plans ideas get things taken care of wrap things up get things finished um, don't waste your time worrying don't waste your time daydreaming focus that energy in because um, as you see your cards all progress you're worrying you take action things roll forward you're trying to juggle your ideas you got a new start I feel like this is saying you've been through everything else before it's time to like really step through the world into your new beginning um, you know call upon your strength do what you love and you will be abundant tarnish your energy use focus use logic to get help if you need it ask ask someone or go you know go back to school and learn it decide what you want take those cups out of the clouds take them out and Bring them down here and put them here and say, look, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to manifest and then go and manifest it. You know what? This is like someone who's kind of chaotic and out of control and worrying. And this is someone who says, no, this is my life. These are my ideas. This is August. I'm going to do this shit. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get help if I need help. I'm going to move forward. Um, no one's going to block me. I'm going to take action with the Queen of Wands. I'll be abundant with the Queen of Coin. And, um... Just a lot of good, a lot of good. So get things taken care of, get things done, Scorpio. Have a great month of August, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.